We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Atlanta Braves. Colton Wong will stand in, and we are set for baseball here this evening. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Temperature here at the park tonight, a comfy 72 degrees at first pitch. Two and two count, here it comes. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Acuna is there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The next to bat for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. This is in the air out to left field. Ozuna on the run, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Patty Bird. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. They slap the tag on him, and he is out at second base. So now to the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. So striding in, Ozzy Albies. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And it's fouled away. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder, but he can't get there. It's over his head. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Batting third. The first baseman. And now Freddie Freeman. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Ball three. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Full count now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And that's the second out. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. The 1-1. One -one. Outside, 2-1. Hit hard, but foul. So a full count now. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Into the box, Marcelo Zuna. That's a strike to throw down. He's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Count still at one and two. Acuna at second with two down. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Here's Matt Carpenter. He went deep in the contest last night. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two.
Hard liner to center field. Acuna is there, and he has it for the first down. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Two balls and a strike to Molina. One out, nobody on. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. That one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. And this is into the alley here. Should be extra bases even for Molina. And he'll pull into second with one away. That is it. The left field. Tyler. Into the box now, oh, Tyler O'Neill. And it's one and two. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Lane Thomas, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Three and one, here it is. Heading out towards shallow right. Markakis is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. The next to bat for Atlanta, Tyler Flowers. He'll match up with Carlos Martinez to lead off the inning. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Stepping in for the Braves, Charlie Culberson is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw gets him, two down. Ready now, Austin Riley. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. Stepping into the box, Harrison Bader as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. All even now, two and two. Now the pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Ozuna giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Carlos Martinez. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. At the plate, Colton Wong. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Two out, nobody on. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw in time and the side is retired. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Max Breed. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One and two now to the Braves pitcher. Still a ball and two strikes. 
The one two. And that misses two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. The second baseman, Ozzy. Ozzy. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. On deck is Nick Markakis. This is hit the other way out toward left field. O'Neill waits on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Nick Markakis digging in now. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. set for the start of the fourth digging in for his second at bat Tommy Edmond a base hit in his first trip the 1 1 home Whoa, that is out. he's fallen behind now three and one great a B up until this point a walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup fouled off into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Markakis on the run, and he makes the catch in the corner. Digging in, Paul Goldschmidt. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. The third base, number 13, Matt Carpenter. At the plate now, Matt Carpenter. Oh, good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And here now is the catcher, Yadier Molina. But right there is the second baseman and that will retire the side. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Freddie Freeman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The one and two pitch. Change of speed there, but it's taken for a ball two and two. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Full count now. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Three and two. Fell behind early in this one, 3-0, and has battled back with two quality strikes. Interested to see if he catches a big part of the plate right here or tries to get a nibble.
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Thomas is there to take it, and that's the second out of the inning. Two gone now in the Braves' half of the fourth, and that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Marcelo Zuna. The 3 1. Inside, he misses ball four. So a runner at first with two away, and next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. The 2 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. He stays alive, still two and two. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of pass. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Into the box now, Tyler O'Neill. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Mm, just low with the slider there. That's ball three. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The better fielder of the 35. Lane Thomas. Standing in now, Lane Thomas. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First and second here with nobody out. Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. 2 and 2. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball 3 now. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held on to behind the plate. It's a strikeout for out number one. Now batting. The, the pitcher, Carlos Carlo. Martinez, steps up Martinez. to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Now a foul tip that's held on to with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. And now a pitch that hits him here. But hang on, hang on. They're going to say he went after it. And that's strike three. So two on with two away. And that'll bring up Colton Wong. The set and the 1-1. One -one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect. So he finds himself down one and two now. Counts even a two and two to Wong. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery towards second. That's in there. Base hit. The tying run is in to score from second. It's one to one. Felix Hernandez trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Stepping in now, Tommy Edmond. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. Hernandez, the former Seattle Mariner, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come offseason. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact.
pulled high in the air out to right field. Marquez has a read on it. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Striding into the box, Charlie Culberson. A 1-1. Oh, this ball is hammered out to deep center field. And this one is gone, a home run. To the plate now, Austin Riley. Swung on and missed, one and two now. Ball two. No outs, nobody on. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now, three and two. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Thomas has it for route number one. Ender Inciarte is into the on-deck circle as it appears he will bat for Felix Hernandez here. Inciarte. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. His head-to-head -head numbers against Carlos Martinez. He's had some success, 5 for 11. 3-1 and one to him now. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Luke Jackson takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 77. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Now the one and one pitch. No. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning, you got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. Acuna has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. The first base, the first Ready for another shot now. Matt Carpenter. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. A 1-1. A ball and two strikes now. One and two. Here it comes. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on top. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. At the plate, Yadier Molina. And Molina swings and misses that time as he's a strikeout victim here. Two away. Now batting. Ready once again. Tyler O'Neill. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. A ball and two strikes now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Bouncer to the left side, fielded cleanly, throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Your attention, please. So a new pitcher set to go here as the right-hander Adam Wainwright gets the call. Adam 
Bottom of the sixth inning now. At the plate, Nick Markakis. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 2 2. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the leadoff man's gone, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Ronald Acuna will be next. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And this will get all the way to the wall now. Into the box, Ronald Acuna. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. And he lays off again, ball three. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The left fielder, number 20, Marcel. So now to the plate, Marcelo Zuna. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Thomas calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Now in the box, Tyler Flowers. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Back goes Thomas. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. Shane Green is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 19. Seventh inning ready to roll. Ready for another chance. Lane Thomas. It was a walk in his last trip. Set and the two and one pitch. Line toward right center. And that's going to be a base hit. So there's the possible go ahead run aboard to kick off the seventh. The right fielder, number 48, Harrison Bader. At the plate now, Harrison Bader. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Bader is a batting line residing in the 230s. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help a roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. Fouled away. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Jairo Munoz is out of the dugout now as it looks like he'll come on and hit for the pitcher, Wainwright. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Ball even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Uh, you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Colton. The 1-1. One, one. one ball, two strikes. And there's a base hit on the line. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. 
Mark Melanson will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. Standing in now, Tommy Edman. 1-1 one, one pitch is a knuckle curve. He's in the hole now, 1-2. and two. To the right side and through a base hit. Thomas blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And he's safe at the plate as it's now a 3-2 ball game. For the, the first base hit, Paul Goldschmidt. In now, Paul Goldschmidt. A ball and two strikes. One and two. two men are on with two men out. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. John Gant gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. John. Last half of the seventh here. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Charlie Culberson. He's working on a one for two game so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. That one catches the edge of the zone called the strike. Two, two pitches fouled away. Pitch on the way. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he fouls this one off. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. So coming to the plate, Austin Riley. He flew out in his last at bat. Look into Molina. Now the 1 1. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Another one two delivery. This is popped up, just foul. The one two. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And it's fouled away. The next one two pitch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. A Danny Echevarria will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The one two is a sinker that dips below the zone for a ball. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. To two and two now. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. A toss behind the back. And there are two away now. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Nick Markakis will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away.
high hop up. Carpenter has a play. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Darren O'Day has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Matt Carpenter. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. The 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Yadier Molina will be next. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Digging in once again, Yadier Molina. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's involved into a really, really nice offensive player. Payoff pitch one more time. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. This is foul right side. Another payoff pitch down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. The batter, the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. To the plate now, Tyler O'Neill. Two and two. <laughs> One out and a runner on second base. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 3-2. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Acuna is there now, and he has it. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Coming to the plate now, Lane Thomas. One for two on his line so far in the game. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Ozuna is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. of inning number eight set to go so next up will be Freddie Freeman he steps in off a base hit in his last at bat he's set here comes the 1-1 one, one. strike two swinging just out in front of the slider Fouled off. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Jordan Hicks will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Brad Miller is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch number 12 and they'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two number 15 
Swing and a chopper to the left side. And there's out number two. Here's Marcelo Zuna. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. That one is out of here. This game is tied. At the plate, Tyler Flowers uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Ugh, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. And here's a sinker that causes him to back away as that just about got him. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. That'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. One and two now. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Brad Miller. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. one out, nobody on. down the left field line and deep and this will wind up a foul ball the 2 2 well he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here he's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with 3 2 pitch off ball four now the potential go-ahead run is on base here now that here's the second baseman Colton Wong is one away the runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score double play is in order however the one and one pitch and he lays off the pitch down and away ball two Pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four seamer. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Outside and a full count, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Fouled away. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Digging in, Tommy Edmond. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Now the 2-1. Oh, textbook slider there. He's back at even, two and two. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Long throw to third. But too late, and he's safe at third. 
Chris Martin enters the game with one gone okay. in the top of inning number nine. The first baseman, Paul Goldstein. So now to the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first, the first man he faces. The first team, Matt Carpenter. The 1 1 home. Liner toward right center. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner is breaking from third. And now the runner from third scores to give him a very important insurance run. Now a 5 3 game. Yadi Molina digging in now. Two hits in four attempts to this point. And this pitch misses for a ball. Two and one now to Molina. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. On the ground to the left side. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Giovanni Gallegos takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Into the box now, Charlie Culberson. A hit and two tries for him so far. Looks like a tall order trying to tie or take the lead against this guy who leads the league in saves. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. And he fouls this one off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads-up play. At the plate, Austin Riley. He went down on strikes last time up. The 2-1. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do Dude, is to fall three. behind the count, 3-2. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Austin Riley goes down, and they've got only one out left to work with. Two-run game, last of the ninth with two away. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Swanson has had his trouble in these matchups, facing right-handed pitching, that is, and shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Final strike for the Braves. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game. And it took six here to get the job done. But, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. St. Louis came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Jordan Hicks claims the win out of the pen his first. Giovanni Gallegos earns the save out of the bullpen his 21st of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
our final line score tonight. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals. Five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For Atlanta, three runs, six hits. No errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and four minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Braves and everyone at Truett Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.